Right, first of all, the Trekology giveaway prize draw. I did announce the winners last Friday, and as yet, less than half of you have actually come forward and made contact. Now, unless I have your contact details, I cannot arrange for those prizes to be forwarded on to you. And unfortunately, the prizes for those who have come forward cannot be distributed until I've received everyone's details. To that end, can I just ask everyone who entered that prize draw to go back to last week's video and see if your name was called out? I'm afraid I am going to have to put a time limit on this, and anyone who has not come forward to claim their prize by next Friday, Friday, I'm afraid will have to be disqualified and the prizes will be redistributed to the reserve names that were drawn. So you have best part of a week to come forward. Also just a reminder for those of you who entered the Motown prize draw for that set of throttle body covers, the winner will be announced this coming Wednesday. Now as I'm sure most of you will remember, last year I fitted the RNG stainless steel radiator guard to the T120. Now I do still like it, there's nothing wrong with it, but something else caught my eye, and so it's time for a change. Now the RNG radiator guard is quite a typical example of what's available out there, at a fairly typical price. I think with the VAT etc it's somewhere around about 70 or 80 pounds. It's a piece of sheet stainless steel that's been laser cut and then folded to fit the radiator. As I say, a typical example of what is available out there. Now, as I've explained before, Moton Customs tend to do things very differently from everyone else. In fact, there are times when I have to wonder whether their chief designer has taken leave of his senses. What most manufacturers tend to do is they'll come up with a design that's quick, simple and cheap to make using the minimum of materials. And that's what we've all come to expect, that's what we've come to accept when we're shopping for custom parts. Of course the bonus of this is that these manufacturers can put a very healthy profit margin into the parts that they sell. And that's the way of the world, the savings are not passed on to us those savings are what enables those companies to keep healthy profit margins and make lots of money. Now, I know I keep banging on about the quality of Motown Customs parts, but it is difficult not to because when you look at their parts, it's glaringly obvious. What it seems to me they tend to do is they look for the best design they possibly can that will really appeal to customers and provoke a must-have response. And they don't deal with the difficulties of how that part's actually going to be manufactured until they've decided on the design. And the product that we're going to look at today is a very typical example of that. Because the way they've built this radiator cover that we're going to look at today, to be quite honest, is nothing like anything I've seen before when it comes to these sort of parts. This is a Union Jack pattern radiator cover and it's designed to fit all the current water-cooled Bonneville twins. With the exception of the included six little screws which are stainless steel, the whole thing's been constructed from 6061 T-grade aluminium. Now so far that all sounds pretty standard fare for these kind of accessories, but I assure you it's anything but. The actual framework itself that incorporates the Union Jack design isn't made from bent channeling with a Union Jack welded into the centre of it as you would normally expect to see with these sort of parts. Motone instead have chosen to take a huge slab of aluminium billet and then CNC machine that aluminium billet to form the main body of this radiator cover. This gives the front of the cover and the Union Jack design a flawless weld free appearance and the part has then been anodized in a satin black finish. The actual grill itself is recessed into the rear of the panel. And whereas most manufacturers would take some proprietary supplied aluminium mesh and rivet it onto the back, Motown have instead chosen to not only laser cut a bespoke and specifically designed mesh to be let into the back of the frame, but also achieve a level of fit that you can't get a razor blade in between. Now to afford a slight contrast with the frame, the mesh has been powder coated, which subtly accentuates the Union Jack design. 
Again, when it comes to the fixing brackets, Motone have turned to CNC machining from billet, with two brackets that fit into the frame so precisely that the joint can barely be seen. Each bracket fastens in place with three stainless steel screws, which are threaded directly into the frame through the bracket. So from the front, the joint is invisible. It's attention to detail like this that really makes Motone's product stand out. The threads on these screws are quite short, and I would recommend the use of a thread lock when fixing them in place, just to make sure that they don't work loose while you're riding. Fitting is a simple two minute job, and I believe that the end result is a truly prestige British classic design. <laughs> The fact that the water-cooled twins are water-cooled and they do have a radiator is something that has divided opinions since their inception a couple of years ago. And to that end, I think this design plays a very clever game. It doesn't immediately draw your attention to the radiator. It's classy and understated. But when you do notice that the radiator's there and you focus on it, what you see is a pleasing, classy, high quality radiator cover that substantially improves the look of that radiator whilst not trying to pretend that it doesn't exist. Now classic styling and quality don't come cheap and neither does the level of engineering that's been built into this radiator cover. So I'm not going to lie to you, this is possibly the most expensive radiator cover currently on the market. But it is without a doubt the highest quality radiator cover on the market. It is without a doubt the best designed radiator cover on the market. And there is absolutely no doubt that you will not see this level of precision engineering on any other radiator cover on the market. Now we all have different views and different priorities when it comes to choosing custom parts for our bikes. There are those that don't intend keeping the bikes for that long, so cheap and cheerful is the order of the day. And if that's the case, cheap Chinese imports are undoubtedly your best bet. But there are those, like me, who intend keeping the bikes long term. And we look for custom parts that embody traditionally British views. We look for the best of the best. We want something that doesn't just make the bike look good, it also increases the perceived value of that bike. And that's what Motone does best. It doesn't take the easy route, it takes the best route when it comes to designing these parts. And I think there's an old saying that goes something like, the quality is appreciated long after the price has been forgotten. Now obviously, as always, I will leave a product link for this radiator guard in the video description down below. Thanks once again for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be back with Payday Projects on Wednesday. I'll also be announcing the winner of those black throttle body covers. So until then, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.